How's it going? It's your boy Chief Strays Bolts coming at you with another lightning recap. You know what I'm saying? Game four of the Lightning versus Bruins playoff series. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are able to push Boston to the brink of elimination as they take a 3-1 series lead. So exciting. Sorry this didn't come out yesterday. I literally had friends over and we ended up hanging out all day afterwards. And I'm not going to be like, yo guys, uh, be right back. I'm going to go make a video. No, that's not how I roll. So, basically what happened in the game. Let's go over it, shall we? First period, nine minutes in, in fact. Right up front, Braden Point has a nasty, nasty little, like, stick handle thing that, like, just completely got through the Boston defender. Passes it right up to the crease where Andre Palat is waiting, and Palat puts that baby in top shelf. It's 1-0 bolts. Second period goes by. 12 minutes in, you would never guess who scores it. Andre Palat for his second of the game. He is really turning it on this playoff so far. And you gotta give him props. He's been quiet pretty much. For, he's been quiet for a while now, but he's picking things up. And uh, he's one of our bigger players now. So good for Palat. Uh, this goal here was a one-time and just an absolute snipe. Absolute snipe. This one was assisted by Sorelli and Kucherov. About Six minutes left in the second period. The Bruins get called for a really dirty boarding penalty against Richie. Richie was kind of kindly put a douchebag in this in this game. Um, I don't think any Tampa fans think kindly of Richie anymore because this hit on Yanni Gord was it was it was late, way after the puck had left, and it was just a dirty play. And so he absolutely deserved the five minute major penalty that he got. Literally about four minutes of the major goes by. The Lightning still can't score. They still cannot score until Victor Hedman took things into his own hands. Victor Hedman takes a slap shot and it bounces off the stick of a Bruins player and just floats. Nobody sees it. It just floats super slowly and it just rainbows right behind the back of Halak and into the net. One of the weirdest goals I've seen. It's a goal. So there was that. That was assisted by Johnson and Kucherov with one minute left on the power play. So on a five minute major, the Lightning are only able to come up with one goal. And I guess it's better than nothing, but that's the equivalent of two and a half power plays right there. So would have liked to seen two. But one is fine. One is fine. I felt like for the most part, the power plays today look kind of lazy. I felt like they, uh, I feel like they could be a lot better on the power play. I just feel like they were getting sloppy. I've been saying this a lot, but like the Lightning oftentimes tend to play lazy and sloppy hockey. I don't get it, but it, it's clearly working for them. Uh, in the first period, they just felt lazy, but our defense was able to hold Boston. So there's that. So anyways, we go to the third period. No more lightning goals. There would be one Bruins goal seven minutes in by Jake DeBrusque off a power play goal. And this shouldn't have been a goal. And I'll tell you why it shouldn't have been a goal. Because Luke Shin got called for a hooking against David Pasternak. And they showed the replay of it. David Pasternak, 110% flopped. It should have been an embellishment penalty on Boston. But instead, we get a penalty off a of flop. I didn't know that we were playing soccer. But Boston, you know how Boston sports does things. They cheat in order to help them succeed. So, unsurprising, but the Boston Bruins do score a goal by cheating. It's what Boston does. So, total shots uh, were 30 to 26 Boston. So, the Lightning were outshot. Not by a whole lot, but we were outshot, but... You know, he still had control of most of the game. They just, they're a lot faster, a lot more physical, I think. And I just think that we're a really tough team to beat this year. I think last year was kind of a half-ass showing. I felt like last year's defense wasn't all that great. Point is, last year shouldn't have happened, yet it did. And I think the Lightning are really motivated this year to make sure that they don't get embarrassed again. So yeah, that is it for this game recap. The Tampa Bay Lightning win at 3-1, and they take a 3-1 series lead super exciting super exciting and it's just like 2018 boston wins the first game and the lightning win the next couple games hopefully they can close them out on monday night baby the tampa bay lightning are this close to going to their fifth eastern conference final in the last nine seasons which is remarkable and what's really remarkable about it is the fact that we have no cups to show for it <laughs> so yeah, we haven't made it yet but we've been to four. We've been to four in the last nine years so far. And only one of those times did we go to the cup. I could be wrong, but I think every 
other Eastern Conference final game that we lost went to a game seven. So the Lightning have just for years, for all decade, they've been this close to reaching the cup several times. It's just that game seven in the Eastern Conference final, they can't get past it. So hopefully we can close out Boston. I, I can't imagine the Lightning would give up three straight games to lose the series. I it just it'd be so it'd be so hard for Boston to do. And I mean it's possible. Look what happened last year against Columbus. They won four straight against us. But just the way that we've been playing against this Bruins team, I I just I think we look a lot better. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, this is your favorite Tampa Bay Lightning YouTuber on all of YouTube, a.k.a. your boy Chiefs Rays Bolts. I will see you in the next Lightning Recap. Peace out.